Good morning. It's a nice day here on the shores of Lake Superior at North House Folk School. This is Peter Henriksen, and I wanted to give you a little tour of a unique building here at North House. This is a Norwegian-style timber frame called the Grinbig, and these uh, are found as early as 1500 in Norway and have been built since then, uh, mostly in southwestern coastal areas, for boathouses, barns, and other out, outdoor storage buildings. So one of the things that makes a green bag different from a lot of other, what we think of timber frames, is the joinery. And there aren't any real mortise and tenon joints on this building harkens back to the real early days of timber framing. The indicative thing that makes this a grin big versus one of the many other timber frame buildings in Norway is the joinery right here where there's the long wall plate that the rafters sit on. And that wall plate is sitting on top of the tie beam here and against the top of the post. And if you can see how that comes together, the post actually has a notch cut down through the middle of it, kind of called the throat of the post, with the two ears sticking up. And then the tie beam comes down through that notch. And outside, it has a head. So as these uh, as there's weight on the roof and in Norway most of the roofs were slate or sod pushes down on the rafters it ends up putting outward force on the wall plate but the wall plate can't get pushed out because it's held by the ears which in turn held by the head of the tie beam. So another uh, interesting thing about these is the bracing. And there are lots of different bracing styles throughout southwestern Norway, depending on what was locally available. So the, this frame has curved birch braces through the center section and uh, straight braces along the sides. And the brace joinery, as I mentioned, it's not mortise and tenon, but uh, it's a lap joint. So half of this joint is cut out of the post. You can see there's a little gap there. And then the brace is cut out here, and then that's fit together tightly and secured with the peg. Around on the sides, slightly modified joint here, which gives a little more strength and tension. There's a dovetail. So there are a few different ways of doing that. One of the unique things about this specific frame is that the uh, wall plates, you can see here, are actually half logs. And these logs were split in half or cleaved in half using just an axe. And uh, you can see in the middle there, they're joined together with the scarf joint. And each wall plate is one log. So there's the tip of the log, half. In the middle, there's the butt end. And then the other hand is the opposite half of that. So basically these are book match wall plates. So this cleaving technique of logs, it's a very controlled technique, um, actually predates Grinbig and goes back to, I don't know how far it goes back, um, but uh, it was definitely done back around a thousand and then you can see there's, there's uh, some interesting axe marks on there. Kind of a real early hewing technique. Um, 
So those were split. And uh, there we go. There's the grim bag. If you want to see a little more info, as well as some drawings, you can check out my website at peterhenriksen.com and just go down to the green section. Thanks.